Hey there, I'm Elaine Fraze, Farm Family Coach, coming to you from my farm in southwestern Manitoba. And today we're going to talk about managing blended and families. And you'll notice this beautiful bouquet in front of me that I was given in October. And I just want you to guess what kind of vase is at the bottom of this bouquet? Ta da! It is a pumpkin. Who would have thought? Kind of like the surprises you get when you put two people together in a new blended family on a farm. And we have coached some of these families and just like there's a myriad of flowers that put together a beautiful bouquet to make an arrangement, putting together a lot of beautiful different people together in a farm family situation can get me messy. But at the end of my blog article, you'll also read all families are messy. All families have issues. It's just they might be different. And when it comes to talking about people, just like flowers, different may be different, but it's not wrong. So here are my tips. First of all, you need to decide to talk. You need direct communication and you need to say, I'm just curious. Are things okay? What's going on for you? What's working well? What isn't? And I remember a story of a woman who had a blended family and she left bedrooms in her house exactly like they were when the kids were small. So when they came home, they came back to a space that was theirs and not changed. But on farms, that's not that easy to do. And especially as things always keep growing and changing. So that may not be a reasonable expectation. So the second tip is manage expectations and work with a team attitude and start using different language. Like we are going to work this out, not I need to work this out. So using we language and managing expectations and checking in on people. Are your expectations being met? What's working? What's not working? And then of course the old conflict thing and in our toolbox on my website we have the conflict dynamic profile which I also would like to remind you about because it's good to be self-aware about what your strong points are about creating solutions, expressing emotion, reaching out, delaying your response, all of these things that will help you put yourself in another perspective, the ability to go from being an orange flower to a pink one and change uh, your approach because you're actually putting yourself in the other person's shoes. I wonder what it feels like to be the stepmom. I wonder what it feels like to be the stepdad. I wonder what it feels like to be the non-farm sibling. So conflict as a risk management tool in business and in managing blended families is a really good idea for you to get more self-aware on. The other thing you might want to do is start new traditions. I hope this is a new tradition on my farm where someone who comes to stay with us for Thanksgiving brings us a beautiful bouquet as a thank you because flowers would be one of my love languages, as you may have guessed. Another thing with blended families is you want to model good behavior. Show up how you would like to show up for other people and how you would like to be treated and set an example. Decisions about the farm business should be made by the people involved in the farm business, but many times people would just like to know the big picture, and so you may want to have more family meetings to, to talk about why certain decisions have been made, and you want to share the decision-making power. And if you're the founder, you're the stepdad, and you have a successor, you need to spend intentional time, both you and your spouse, around a learning plan for that successor so that they are not floundering. The other thing that you want to talk about also is if all your documents are up to date, your wills, your power of attorney, and marriage contracts. And just recently I met some folks who were just amazed by the word marriage contract because they'd been well versed in the theme or the thought about prenups before the spouses or before the siblings get married. But they didn't know that you could also do it after the fact during the marriage. You can go to independent legal advice and draw up a marriage contract. And in blended families, what are people afraid of? Well, first of all, rocky relationships, which you need to work out with good communication and conflict resolution, but you also need to model forgiveness. And we were in this amazing blended family meeting where the son stood up and said, I forgive you, stepmom, for all the hurt that I've experienced, and I'm letting that go, and I want you to forgive me. And as we gathered for lunch, another sibling said, wow, would I ever like to have the courage that you just displayed in that meeting. I'm Elaine Frey's farm family coach. I'm on this journey with you of the unfolding of farm family transition. 
And one of the things of unfolding that's really hard for blended families is getting together to talk. And if you need support and help, our team of coaches would be really happy to be with you to do that over Zoom or to show up face to face if it's possible with the flip chart to help you navigate finding harmony through understanding. Take some time in your day to stop and smell the roses and pass this on about getting your documents updated. And if you're listening to this today and don't have your will updated, winter's coming and there's no excuse. Just get her done. See you next time.